Experts say global warming is already eating away at Rhode Island's shoreline. Local scientists believe climate change could become more extreme in the coming years, leading to dramatic changes in the physical landscape of southern New England. Green Team reporter T.J. Del Santo joins us now from Narragansett with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Sea level rise will impact just about every southern New England community from here in Narragansett, across the bay into Newport and all the way up into Providence. Is there anything that you can do? I spoke to local experts about what they think. It's a decades-long process, but one that is causing and will cause more problems to southern New England and the world. Sea level rise. Sea level rise is caused primarily from global warming. The warming of the atmosphere causes the oceans to warm, which causes the oceans to expand and rise. But there's more. The warming of the atmosphere uh, melts more ice in the glaciers, and the glaciers, once the glaciers melt, that water flows to the ocean. John Boothroyd, research professor emeritus with the University of Rhode Island, said the sea level around our state has risen an amazing 10 inches since 1930, and that rise is expected to accelerate. It might be as much as uh, three feet by 2100. So when it over, over three feet additional. The sea level rise will affect recreation. It'll affect infrastructure, public infrastructure. It'll affect. Um, along with stor increased storminess. Wickford Village, for example, would be inundated with water to levels similar to what the hurricane of 1938 brought. Virginia Lee of the Coastal Resources Center at URI says sea level rise is shaping decisions already. Whether it would be economical to rebuild roads, bridges and buildings, or where and how they should be built is already being thought about by experts. Build your house and or your business. Build your structures three to five feet above existing f base level floodplain so that you can have it th for the next 50 years. At this point, experts say we can't stop global warming, but by reducing energy uses and the burning of fossil fuels, we can have an impact. And for more information about sea level rise here in Rhode Island and what you can do, you can go to our website, WPRI.com. For the Green Team, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.